Hello and welcome, welcome. We are here in Santiago, Chile, on a Sunday morning. Right now it's our last day in Chile after one month here. And we are heading to our favorite restaurant here in the city. One of the things that we find really interesting in Chile is how there doesn't seem to be that much interest in local or traditional food. All the restaurants are either world foods like Thai or Indian food, or there's a lot of sushi, and there's also a lot of Peruvian food, but there's very little Chilean food. That's one of the reasons that we like this restaurant so much. They focus on using traditional Chilean ingredients and even doing some traditional preparations while also doing a bunch of interesting and innovative new dishes. So let's go. Here in the internal patio, uh, Pomayen has, I think, four different spaces, and each space has a different menu. So the tasting menu we're having here is only available here at the ground floor. So we chose the menu we wanted beforehand, and that's why we came here to the internal patio so we can get the origins menu. We both got the origin tasting menus today. Gustavo got the mixed menu, which is a combination of the seafood, meat, and vegetarian menus, and I got the purely vegetarian menu. So this is the equivalent of their bread basket and it's complimentary, they just bring it to us when we first get here. And this is the map of Chile, it represents Chile from north to south with uh, the ingredients from each region, so cool. This is a bread also by Villa from the north. It's mounted between chicken and the we found that here in Chile, when we try to get spicy food, even if we go to a Thai or Indian restaurant and ask for it spicy, it never is. This sauce is called spicy sauce, so I'm optimistic. It's really tasty and it is a bit spicy. How was the bread? So good. They're so different. A couple of them are hot, others are cold, others are sweet. So it's a really cool uh, assortment of different breads. It's awesome and it's really tasty. We just got our main dishes, so it's a very cute, there are several different dishes in the same plate. There's fish, there's a lentil little fried balls with some wheat risotto on the bottom, and this is a potato cylinder with oxtail inside and a mushroom sauce. Looks really good. My vegetarian version is pretty similar to Gustavo's, except that the potato cylinder is stuffed with mushrooms instead of meat, and the grilled vegetables come with pumpkin instead of fish. Grilled vegetables here, I forgot to mention before, come with a chocolate sauce. And so, of course, I was thinking of mole from Oaxaca, where we spent, what, a month? 
This one is amazing and actually you wouldn't mistake it for mole. It's a bit lighter and a little bit sweeter and the chocolate really comes through but it's still, it's definitely a savory sauce. It's amazing. This one is a potato cylinder stuffed with seaweed and somehow it actually does work as a dessert. Mm. Very good. This next one is a wine ice cream. So, Gustavo, as someone who doesn't drink and doesn't like alcohol, what do you think of it? It tastes alcoholic, but it's really tasty. It's nice. I like it. It works. What did you think of the meal overall? Oh, it's so good. So it is a lot of food. It's small bites, but you know, so many of them that you get out of here very full. They say it's 22 bites, right? And I don't think that even counts the bread basket thing. It's really nice to see the variety of things they offer you for one tasting menu. It's really a lot of different things to try. It's so worth it. It's so nice. What was your favorite bite? Uh, it's hard to pick favorites. I really like the horse tartar, I think it was. It's like a little, that one was really just one bite. It was really small, but it was so good and packed of flavor. It was, it was really nice. Also the little potato cylinder with the oxtail inside, it was, it was awesome. Which one was your favorite? I have to read the list. <laughs> there were so many. I really liked the cylinder too. Mine with the mushrooms inside instead of the meat. That was really good. The menu origins, that it's the one that we got, uh, it costs about 27,000 pesos. And the vegetarian one is a little bit cheaper, it's uh, 25,000. As far as tasting menus go, this is very good and very affordable. While you're here in Santiago, this place, Pel Mayen restaurant, is a great place to treat yourself with affordable prices and you can try all of the indigenous ingredients of Chile in really tasty dishes. Alright guys, that's it. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you will consider trying Pel Mayen when you're in Chile. It's so good. You really have to try it if you're here. So, if you want to visit Chile, if you liked the video, uh, click the like button, subscribe to our channel. Ring we'll, the bell. We will do our best to post more videos weekly and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one